is Bilson? I see it as a sort of sensual retreat, I guess. I mean, all good restaurants, I think, are a celebration of the agricultural, but, that, you know, in the final analysis, it's really, it's about good food and good wine. Why cooking? That yes. is the reason, basically. It's a, it's a book that was written, published in 1956. I liked what happened in Paris in the, around the turn of the century. I loved all that, the bohemian life, I liked the, the Hemingway stories. So for me, going into restaurants was actually being part of that arts community. A couple of things were happening in my life. One, I'd been introduced to Georges Mora. George had a restaurant called Balzac. Oh, okay. And uh, I mean, a lot of artists worked there. Charles Blackman used to wash the dishes and everything. I mean, George is very Parisian, and he ran a salon in Little Collins Street where the, uh, the arts community started to gather. And out of that salon grew the Museum of Contemporary Art. So, and that included the very, the very wealthy John Reed, Sunday Reed, the, that crowd. And George's great skill was to bring together the moneyed bourgeois of Melbourne, if you like, and put them together with the bohemian, with the bohemian artists. And, and they, those two communities had a very long tradition. I did uh, a year of economics at Monash. Uh, and then I joined the Reserve Bank, uh, working in foreign exchange. And then my mother died. And I thought, look, I really don't want to do this. I, mean, I was just being a good Melbourne grammar school boy. So I went to George and said, look, I really want to be a chef, so what do I do? And uh, he put me on to Johnny Walker in Sydney. And there were two very fine French chefs working there, Paul Harbelow and John Ansuri. Uh, and uh, John had had a two-star restaurant in, in France. Paul, um, who was a, a boxer uh, in his youth, a uh, big, big guy, um, he was in, sort of caught in Sydney during the war. What is... La pêche. Bah, je, je, je crois que c'est un. C'est avant tout un. It is a gift that life has given me. And like every gift you receive, it has become a part of my life. Que je n'avais jamais imaginé quand j'avais 15 ans, 20 ans et plus. C'est. Each day I'm trying to improve upon it. Alors qu'il n'y avait absolument rien d'écrit pour que, effectivement, un jour je puisse avoir cette maison. Et c'est vrai qu'aujourd'hui, donc je, j'essaye de le, de le peaufiner. It is a place that I love and where I feel very comfortable. Parce que, bah, comme tout, comme tous les cadeaux, c'est, c'est, c'est. C'est un endroit que, qui fait partie de ma vie et que, et que, que j'aime, non seulement par rapport à ce qui s'y passe, mais que, que j'aime aussi parce que j'ai une like sens très, très bien. C'est un lieu, euh, 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 comment dirais-je, qui, euh, qui pour moi est un, c est, c est un partenaire dans la vie. C'est euh, comme, euh, comme une histoire like un peu, un peu love story. Je ne sais pas réellement pourquoi. C'est euh, euh, même encore aujourd'hui, si vous voulez, à, à, après 30 ans de, 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 de cuisine, de métier, je. Even je after 30 years of practicing this profession, I still don't really know ouais, why I chose cooking. Que une, Perhaps je dirais, because it was an easy solution, considering I was living in a village at the time. Qui existait à l'époque dans mon village, parce qu'effectivement, bon. Euh, euh, my father could have just as easily introduced me to music, or my mother could have taught me sewing. For them, it was easier to find me a job in a kitchen. Mais bon, pour pour eux, c'était plus facile effectivement de trouver. Bon, quand on a quand on a 14 ans, when you were 14 or 12 or 13 years old, and you tell your parents you would like to be a couturier, it is very difficult in the village to find an employer. Un employeur. 
Well, music, c'est plus facile, mais bon. Uh, music is a bit easier, but it was already a very uh, uncertain uh, job at the time. Uh, I didn't know if I could really make a living from it. With cooking, it's different. It is easier to tell your parents that you want to become a chef. There were plenty of good restaurants in my village, and so it was very easy to become an apprentice in the region of Brittany. One thing I can say for sure, though, is that working with one's hands and doing manual work were very important for both myself and my family at the time.